It is dangerous to sleep. In 1 Samuel chapter 26, verse 4 to 16, 1 Samuel 26, from verse 4 to 16, the Bible tells us that King Saul slept, surrounded by mighty men of Israel, not ordinary soldiers, mighty ones, the best. But they all slept too. After all, they were human beings. And the enemy came, took the sword of the king and his water bottle. And those who came with David said to David, just one stroke and the king will be dead. When you are sleeping, no matter how strong you are, you are helpless. Open to the attack of the enemy. And if you think, oh, I have bodyguards. <laughs> you want to trust bodyguards? They are human beings too. They do sleep. I was sharing with my children not too long ago during our morning devotion. I said, I've just gone around the camp in the night, praying, and I saw one of the guards. He wasn't just sleeping. He was far gone. I said, if it were in the past, I would have taken his torchlight. But now I said, let him sleep. After all, he's a human being too. Thank God that's a God who never sleep or slumber. Let me hear you shout hallelujah to him. In Matthew 13, from verse 24 to 28, Matthew 13, 24 to 28, the Bible says, a man went to his field, he planted some very beautiful seed, but when the day came, and it began to germinate. There were tears also. He said, I planted good seeds. Where comes all these tears? Uh, somebody said, an enemy has done this. When you are sleeping, enemy can sow. But apart from that, apart from the dangers of sleeping, what exactly does sleep mean? Well, Proverbs chapter 26 verse 14, Proverbs 26 verse 14 tells us that when somebody is sleeping, he can be rolling on his bed. He thinks he's moving, but he's still on his bed. What does sleep mean? It means motion without progress. Just on the same spot going around in circles. You think you are moving, but you are still on the same spot. Some of us understand what that means. For years now, 5 a.m., you are awake. So to, to, to be able to catch the bus going to Lagos. And you go in the morning, you return in the evening, you go in the morning, you return in the evening, you'll be doing it for years, and you remain on the same spot. Sleeping. Oh, but the Bible says something else about sleep. You want to find that one? In Isaiah 29, that's the one that is, is most fearful. Isaiah 29, verse 8. He said, A hungry man is sleeping. And he had a dream. And in the dream, he was sitting. But when he wakes up, he's still hungry. <laughs> he went to bed thirsty in his dream he was drinking water when he woke up he was as thirsty as ever before what does sleep mean it means unfulfilled dreams when you have dreams beautiful dreams but they never come true 
That is what sleep stands for. I know a student when I was at the University of Lagos as a lecturer. He came in to study engineering. After years, when he couldn't go beyond year one, they asked him to withdraw. So he, he changed to architecture. After years, they asked him to withdraw. He changed to fine art. He said, drawing is drawing. He never graduated. Unfulfilled dreams, that is sleep. And some of us are sleeping. But will you lift your hand to the almighty God and say in the mighty name of Jesus, I will arise. 